Celeste, now in video game form. Hey there, on the Snow Cow playing just that. Last time we completed a level. One, two, three, four. Completed world five. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna enter. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. The first one doesn't count. I think we're starting world six. The Frozen Flame. Reflection. I, I don't know what that means. Well, I know what that means. Who knows? Oh. Okay. That's. Accurate for real life. Thank you, Maddie Correspondence Class. Oh, geez, still got a carry. Feet of, there you go. <laughs> this game got really, like, it's mostly in platformer and stuff, but man, sure is a big story component to it, a big, a big narrative component to it. It wasn't Nightmare Theo. It all happened. The part with the moose, it happened twice. Ooh, got a nice breeze coming in suddenly. It feels great after four days. Uh, it's all good. Man, we must be getting... On. You know what? Wait a second. Wait, I get to decide with Theo? What? 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 Alright, my name's Theo. How's it going? Why are we camping on, like... The thinnest part of this mountain. What, Maddie? That's terrible. <laughs> Maddie comes from the Star Fox dimension. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess it's not a real choice. Oh, it's a mountain of despair. See, it's it's a meta metaphorical mountain. Theo, I'm starting to wonder if you actually exist. Because I'm starting to think that this is all entirely... Like, this whole mountain is not a mountain. It's some kind of metaphor for something Maddie is working through. And you're just kind of like a weird agent created from her psyche to help her out. That's just what I'm spitballing out there. That's just the spitball, a game spitball, but... I don't know, man. The signs are there. Sure, why not? I'm saying the mountain itself isn't real, so me and Theo, not sh quite on the same brain wavelength here. Yeah. And now she'll make the little light land bridge we're on crumble and make us fall in this pit. Because Maddie doesn't always make great decisions. It happens. No one makes always great decisions. Not even Leonardo, the chief of the turtle. He sometimes made mistakes. That's that's just how it is. Why is your text box tartan, though? Oh man, double double demon doppelganger. Oh, that's fun to say. Demon doppelganger. I probably should stop clowning around while they're having a kind of important moment together here. Uh, I can't help it. That's how I deal with stuff. When I'm feeling down, when other people feel down, that's just like my mode to go and uh, try to clown around. I mean, maybe the game's gonna force me to say the other one too. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you were pretty useless stuck in that thing. Like, if only the game tried to make me encourage to press switch using the Theo in order to solve puzzles. <laughs> Look, people. I never felt like I was missing out on any gameplay. Some people seem to be legit mad that I didn't use Leo for stuff, but at no point did I feel like I was making things harder or anything, so there was no reason for me to think otherwise. Sometimes people get a bit silly when they watch a video on the inner tubes. That is accurate. But I feel like after you carry a man frozen in crystal through a demon temple, I, I think that adds a few years to your relationship. Like, in terms of time spent, there's such a thing as intensity. <laughs> Literal rock star. No, she's she's uh she's a rock or stars. 
Oh, there's Alex. Wow. She's had kind of a frog mouth. Kinda. You know that little V? Little V-shaped mouth? Uh, uh, hmm, I mean, okay, I mean, realistically speaking, I feel like Theo would approach a conversation first, which is why I'm going with this option, it's just more realistic. I'm here for, uh, no, the simulation aspect of the relation here, alright? <laughs> And also halfway up. <laughs> I, she didn't really read as mean to me, but I honestly, it's been a little bit, I don't fully remember. It's classic Alex. I mean, why is Maddie climbing the mountain? That's a pretty good question. And I just... I don't really have anything to say at this point. Like, I feel... Like, I feel like I'm voyeuristically peeking in on a conversation between two people. I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I wish that Theo, whenever he responded though, didn't look so smarmy sometimes. He has that really, really snarky facial expression uh, points. Allegedly more as a human. Oh man, what if this is the entire chapter? Like, there's barely anything on the map for here. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It's called Reflection. Hmm. The icon is a fire in ice. Yeah, bumming around like 3,000 feet up mountain. That, that sounds like, like a regular people thing. Uh, that's rude, my friend. <laughs> look, that face, look, that facial expression. That's the facial expression that makes it really hard for me to care for Theo. It's so smarmy. It's, I, I hate it. That was last like, little tone of Maddie's speech was pretty cute. <sighs> That feels like something you'd say, so let's go for it. Like, I feel like you need to go through everything, so... This is true. Depression is easy to explain in terms of chemicals, but it sure is hard to explain it to a normie. 
Well, I mean, not to apply that only quote unquote normal people, like, they never get the. Like, that's absolutely untrue. Everyone can get it. I just. Sometimes word come out of my mouth, and I don't really think about it, and here we are. If you're unlucky, you get paranoid. Or, like. Schizophrenic at some point. Nah, that's not really true. Those are two different things. It's just that two different things can happen at the same time in a person. We, we don't just have like one issue slot that gets filled in. There, there can be just as many as you want that can stack up. That's when things get fun in the wrongest way. Anyways, Daddy speaking. I shouldn't interrupt her like this. Nothing's wrong with you, just cause you got depression. It's a thing anyone can get. And you can work through it. Different ways work for different people. Maddie takes climbing on a mountain. I didn't fight literal fight fight her depression literally. <laughs> that's dreamfish. Yeah, that's that is what's going on inside this game. Which is why I said what I said at the very start. It's not pointless though, you get a thousand point for every strawberry. Also that. I don't think I'm seeing a single portrait of Maddie. That's not kind of squishily adorable in some way. <laughs> Although, man, her eyebrows are as big as her eyes there. That's... that's rude, rude. Oh, jeez, really? So I guess I can stop it at any time, but might as well go through this for playing a video game. This is a vacation. You get points, you do jumps. That's that's relaxing ain't good. Take a bath is not a vacation. <laughs> Gotta take a bath cation. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes, when you got a lot on your plate, you just gotta set another table and, you know, take some time there. That's a pretty good way, though, to, like, if you have a problem with depression, oh, some, one thing that works for a lot of people, including me, is just to entirely devote yourself to one activity. Just do that, and that, and that, like, until you kind of stop thinking about it. It's not like a panacea, but I find that that kind of works. And I can see here the metaphor working with Maddie, like just getting into your mind to just climb that mountain and just concentrate and just think on that. Like, I get it. That metaphor gets why that's why that's why I think what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm very good at interpreting video games. Oh, just, well, all right, Grandpa, Grandpa Theo, what up with that? <laughs> sweet, sweet anecdote. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Where is this going? Good thing. What? Maddie. What are you doing? Well. Ah, uh, okay. Well, man, that guy's beard. I don't know how it stays that way. That's kind of weird. You did it. Whoa, a new- there was like a new frame for a second. 
Wait, but this world's six out of eight! Oh, maybe one of them is gonna be like the inside, the mountain core. <laughs> or there's a level above the mountain. It's all possible. Man, so there's a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know if you get interrupted if you want to go to sleep. But it sure seems like a good idea to not go to sleep, considering what happened. Oh wait, is there gonna be an actual level? Well, there's a feather. Later. No? Is, is, am I gonna fly? Also, that is a sweet Aurora Ouroboralo going on up there. But, alright, what's going on here? Um, I'm a ghost now! <laughs> alright. I don't know what's going on. Sounds good! Can I touch this? Alright, it's just fences. Alright, you gotta dash through it. Oh, what? Okay. Now the rules are changed. If there's a, so can I dash? Oh, you can dash from being a tier. Of course, like, why wouldn't you be, right? Exactly. All these featherons everywhere. Feels like I might be missing stuff, but I feel like I'm not really supposed to be thinking about that right now. This is it! Oh, she's... Uh, hey! <laughs> Gonna share that with the evil side of me. All casual. Nothing weird here. <laughs> Alright. That's cool. Yeah, you are the... She has a personification of your self-hatred. Like, I figured that out, like, a few chapters ago. Catch up, Maddie. Oh, that's fair enough. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty rude, Maddie. I don't know if you can be happy if you stop to exist, Maddie. <laughs> oh, look. Look how upset she is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, please stay in your cube. Uh, please stay in your square. Oh, but that, that ain't good. You know she's evil because she painted her nails black. Like, that's how it works. Oh, jeez. Hey, got some earthworm going on here. Um, um... Yeah, hold the button. Don't press it repeatedly. Hold it. Can I do that? I'm holding the button. See, I'm holding it. Then I'm gonna let it drop. I'm gonna hold it to stay within the sea. Good thing Theo's around, I guess. Otherwise, we'd be in a problem. We'd be in an earthworm town. No, 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 no. See, I'm holding the button there, but it doesn't care. Uh, or that's something she just- Oh, my- FEATHER! I only have one! <laughs> oh no! Uh, well this is a bad time. This did not- Oh no! Just, why- Why are you camping here? This is the first thing I asked when this started! Oh boy! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny, but oh no! Oh jeez! Welcome to Crystal Town. I saw I saw the emblem up there. I can't interrupt anything. Uh, this place looks real pretty though. Like, oh, that's a pretty nice flower. Wow! I did not expect all of this. This is a pretty weird episode of Celeste, though. <laughs>